Welcome to my virtual classroom. Good day teachers, good day everyone, and welcome to Mumzi's virtual classroom. Today is graduation day, and so for this special vlog, we will reveal the stories behind academic gowns. Tara! Full academic gowns should be worn at all formal university ceremonies. This typically includes a flowing gown, a hood or cape, and headwear which conform to institutions where an individual is affiliated. The University of Oxford in Cambridge set this tradition in year 1115 and 1209 respectively, which has spread throughout the world. While the term bachelor or baccalaureus was used to describe an apprentice of a master or magister who was already skilled in feudal hierarchy. These titles were used in universities in the 13th century and the hierarchy, along with the medieval style of clothing, are the roots of academic gowns. Graduate kasi ako ng ano, PhD Biochemistry under ako ng College of Medicine. So, ang College of Medicine, lahat halos ng courses niyan, pag graduate kami, kulay green yung mood. Ito yung toga sa University namin sa Indonesia, sa Universidad Pendidikan Indonesia. Yung counterpart, yung parang normal school, yung parang national <laughs> normal school nila. Ah, ano pong ibig sabihin na to ma'am? <laughs> Parang standard siya, ibahagi siya ng kasuotan oh. ng, sa program namin. Basta lahat kami ay may ganito. Pero naalala ko sa university, syempre meron dyan. Yung toga nila, iba rin sa akin. Apa. Kaya ko, yung mga professor ko doon, ang toga nila nakabatay sa prestige ng rank nila sa university. Oh, na! Nice. <laughs> oh, that's different naman sa compared oh, sa atin sa PNU. Oh. That's interesting po to know. Oh. Ako, katabi ko yung mga professor ko doon, yes, hindi kami magkakapareho ng toga. Kasi meron din silang ibang journey pinagdaanan. Yes, Apo. Like nila. Bakit po naka-red po kayo? Ano po mga school? Ako sa Beijing Normal University. Hmm, ang ganda po na itong pa-floral po. <laughs> yeah, kasi something different. Eh. Mam, pwede po ba kayo umikot? Ay, ang ganda mo. Bet, bet na bet. Yes, yes sir, Ali naman. Pwede ko. Ano lang yan, Clay? Tapos, naka-open siya sa middle. Oh, talaga naka-open siya sa middle. Ah, ang angas din. Well, yeah. It's red. Listen, ito ang... Lahat ng PDB. Same with... Sa Beijing Normal. Same with Beijing Normal. Na... Naman natin si Teacher April at si Teacher Mel. So... Okay po. Palagi ano, Okay. Anong ibig sabihin ng suot mo at bakit hindi ka naka-adapt academic gown? So I'm wearing supply because I graduated at UP. I studied ASEAN Studies. Depends on the institution, yung pin na... Ah, may I see, may I see. Wearing the UPOU pin. Yes. 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 Yes.
para sa number of degrees na meron ka. So, PhD ay tatlo. Three strides actually signifies uh, graduating PhD degree. PhD? Yeah. Actually, Kapag dalawa lang, MA. Tapos kapag wala naman, undergrad. undergrad. Oh, bakit po apat? Uh, I think pag university president, apat siya. Oh, nice! Napakaganda po. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Bunch 2020. Once again, calling the attention of the members. So, I'm so excited that of course. And so for today, we learned that there are a lot of reasons for the designs of academic gowns. So for example, ang common sa Philippines would be by degree. So you will see colors such as green for medicine, blue for education, orange naman for engineering. One naman is for culture, of course. So uh, UP is known for their supply, diba? So sa UP, regardless ng yung degree, regardless ng yung program, Lahat ay gumagamit ng sa And I hope that you learned a lot from this vlog. And let's and be a blessing to one let's another. Let's all be a blessing to one another. <laughs> Thank you so much. Marami salamat. Thank you po. Thank you po. Thank you po. Thank you po. And everyone is a big batch.